Well, praise the Lord. Welcome to Incredible Day Six. Somebody say, I am declaring war on the devil's war. The loveliest lady in all the land is in the house today. My beautiful wife, Jerry Morrow, the director of the in-home prayer ministry. Honey, we're so glad that you are part of this incredible closing day today. Yes, I'm so happy to be here. I've missed everyone and I see all your comments and your testimonies. I love reading your testimonies. What an inspiration that you are. And you are really uh, building the faith of those that are around you. And so welcome, it's good to have you here with us today. And Mark and Don, I tell you what, what a privilege it has been just to sit at the feet of the prophet of God, sit at the feet of the Holy Spirit. I am super excited about today's message. Brother Srillo is going to remind us that normal Christianity does not get the job done. Yes, and he's of course continued to empower you and he's rewarding your faithfulness to be in each one of these sessions because he's gonna teach us when he gives us the keys, uh, the word that he used, uh, the whatever you bind in heaven is uh, dedemona. What that really means is that's the same word when King Herod arrested John the Baptist. It's the same uh, verb that when the Romans arrested, you're gonna take the devil's works and put them under arrest. Amen. 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 And just to uh, come back to yesterday teaching, we are empowered by God with God's word. And I had in my heart just to mention that the Spirit of the Lord and the Word of God always agree. So this is very important. If in your experience when you are touching spiritual warfare and touching the world of the Spirit, if you hear something that the Word does not confirm, you need to be careful because the Spirit of the Lord will always confirm the word of the living God. Amen. You know, and that's why these School of Ministry sessions are so important. What an incredible investment that you are making because you are receiving the word of God and you're receiving the impartation of the anointing because if we receive the word, but we don't have the ability and the power to be what the word says we can be and do what the word says we can do, then we live a normal, frustrated Christian life. But today, Brother Shrill is gonna take us past the point of blessing into an experience of power. I wanna encourage you, get your anointing oil ready. If you are somewhere that you have access to olive oil, it doesn't matter what kind of oil it is. There's no virtue in the oil, but the oil is simply a point of contact. It is a type of the Holy Spirit. If you don't have any oil, it's fine. God is a spirit. He's going to anoint you today. Honey, Don, Mark, this is the incredible closing session of the incredible declaring war on the devil's war school of ministry. What a privilege it is for the four of us to give honor to whom honor is due. Would you join us in thanking God for his apostle and prophet to the nations? Come on, let's welcome once again, God's servant, Dr. Morris Cirillo. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind, now listen to it, that is declare to be improper and unlawful on earth must be already bound in heaven. Now listen, let it go deep. And whatever you loose on earth or declare lawful must be what is already loosed in heaven. Now, let's turn over, okay? Let's turn over.
to Matthew 18. 18. King James, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. How many of you have gotten down on your knees, wept and cried and done this thing and grit your teeth? Come on. Come on. Come on. You'll have to get in line behind me because I did it first. Come on. I've been doing it for years. Now God's given me a breakthrough on it. Watch the original. The original now. 18th verse, listen. Truly I tell you, whatever you forbid and declare to be improper and unlawful on earth must be what is already forbidden in heaven. You see how we've had this thing backwards? We thought we were doing it on earth, and then God was going to do it. Oh, no. That's why it hasn't been working. You've got to find out what he has already done and then declare it. cities are in your head. On earth must be already permitted in heaven. <laughs> Jesus said, I give you the key. the kingdom of earth. I give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> to walk in and out the presence of God. Whatever he is already bound, you buy. Whatever he's already loose, you lose. And I'd like you to repeat something that is very important today. It is a rhema. It is a word from God. I want you to open your spirits wide, and I want you to receive this word from God. I want you to repeat it so that that will help it to go deep in your spirit. A powerful spiritual force, powerful spiritual force. Is, about to be released is about to be released within the body of Christ, the body of Christ. that will bring about, that will bring about the, greatest the greatest manifestation of the power of God, of the power of God that, the that the world has ever seen.
Remember the scripture in Ephesians. Our God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above, beyond what you and I are able to ask and what we are able to think. But remember the last line of that verse, of that powerful scripture that most leave off, and that is this. Our God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above, beyond, what we are able to ask or what we are able to think according to the power that worketh in us. Say that word, in us. Could it be? Could it be? That why most people do not experience this scripture of God being able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above, beyond what we are able to ask, what we are able to comprehend, what we are able to think, could it be that the reason is that there is a need for something on the inside. There is no lack in God. There is no lack in the promises of God. But God works as he did through Peter. When Peter came out of the upper room under the influence, not of alcohol, not of wine, but under the influence of the power of the Holy Spirit. And he went past the gate to the temple and there found this crippled man bound from his mother's womb. Infirm. And he was able to say to him, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I unto thee. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. We are not of the household that are looking for ways to reason away. I tell you today, as members of God's army, God does not need us to make any excuses for him. And neither does God need us to reason away.
What God needs is some Peters who have had an experience where their life is changed so that they can walk into the arena of the enemy and say, such as I have give I unto thee. And when you walk out of this school of ministry, you go back into your churches, you go back into your villages, you go back into your cities, you go back into the circumstances where you face the enemy. You go back and you don't make excuses. You say, such as I Now, I tell you today that before we can enter into this battlefield, before we dare to stand toe to toe with the devil, especially in this end time prophetic hour more than ever before God's people must have an experience. Now there are different levels of spirituality. You'll notice that some people are very satisfied with what we call normal Christianity. Now, I'd like to submit to you who have come here to become part of God's army, that we will not change the course of the end time spiritual destiny of the world through, and don't, please, don't take offense to this, through normal Christianity. It's like saying the communists are going to take the world with normal communism. It's like saying that any force or any power that seeks to spread its gospel is going to overcome and conquer through normal means. There is nothing normal about us. You may not like this, But we are fanatics. And I don't mind if the LA Times picks that up and puts it on the headlines of the paper tomorrow. <laughs> we are religious fanatics. Why? Because though we believe in coexistence with Jews, of which I happen to have been born one, though we believe in coexistence with Muslims, though we believe in coexistence with Buddhists, Shintos, 
We are fanatics because we believe that unless you are born again by the blood of Jesus, you're going to hell. And we do not believe in anything less than this message on the mission fields of the world. We don't go in and water down the message because somebody is trying to get this group to coexist with this group. We live together in peace and harmony, but the message never becomes prostituted. You can put all the Jews up here on this platform you want to and all the high evangelical people you want to and hug each other and love each other's neck. But when that produces the failure on the part of the body of Christ to make the message known and make it clear, that there is salvation in none other. We have missed the purpose for which Jesus came and gave his life and died on the cross. Now, you probably, many of you will take offense to that. That's all right. No problem with me. I let people believe what they want to believe. I have no problem with that. But I can just imagine the Apostle Paul walking into a synagogue and sitting down and talking about coexistence. Now, come on, let's get the mask off. I can just imagine Peter walking into the streets of Jerusalem and going into the temple and into the beautiful manifestation of where Jesus Christ just raised that crippled man from his mother's womb and talked about coexistence. If I read my Bible correctly, he said, you know who healed this man? He said, a person called Jesus of Nazareth. They said he couldn't have done it because he's dead. <laughs> Peter said, that's what you think. I said, Jesus of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead. Well, somebody just go ahead and thank God that God is not depending on what you possess. He wasn't depending on what Peter possessed, but he was depending on what he could make of Peter. I declare today, Jesus of Nazareth is the same yesterday in the book of Acts, today and forever. That same Jesus of Nazareth is with you. And I cannot wait, we're gonna go straight in to an incredible time, I just feel a power, a presence, but not just a presence and a power of God, but that there is an impartation. You have stayed connected to this revelation from the prophet of God declaring war on the devil's war. And I want to encourage you, if you have your anointing oil, I want you to go ahead and get it in your hands. And if you do not, don't worry about it. You can just take your right hand and just lift it in the presence of God. Here's what I want you to do. If you have your oil, go ahead and open it. You can put some on your finger, and then if you have a vial, you can close it again. We're gonna send one of these anointing oil vials to every person that is participating in the School of Ministry today. We're also going to send you this powerful point of contact called a miracle prayer cloth. Don and Mark and Jerry and I 
are laying our hands on every one of these cloths. We're laying our hands on these vials of anointing oil. And we want you to have one for the next school of ministry. When we come into this anointing service, use the oil, lay hands on the sick, anoint your house, anoint your wallet, anoint your children, your spouse. My God, the Bible says that we should lay hands on the sick. Anoint them with oil. Their sins will be forgiven and they'll be healed. And so Father, we thank you right now. And I want you just to go ahead and take that oil. And if you'll just go ahead and just mark yourself in the mighty name of Jesus, mark yourself on your head, mark yourself on your hands in Jesus mighty name. I declare that there is a power so strong, rulers of this world will tremble. There is a new anointing to declare war. The Bible declares that he gives you fingers to fight and hands to war. And I declare a warrior spirit to come upon your mind, to come upon your hands. We are not just going to do business as usual. We're not just going to accept every attack of the enemy, but we are going to declare from this day forward, war on the devil's war. We are not what the devil says we are, but we are who God says we are. And today I declare my brother, today I declare my sister, that you are stepping in to a new level of strategic spiritual warfare prayer. Literally the words that will come from your mouth in prayer, those of you that have the prayer language of the Holy Spirit, there will be an energized anointing in your in your mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus said, behold, I give you power over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm you. I want you just to go ahead and just lift your hands in the presence of God. I want you to lift your head and I want you just to say, Lord, I thank you that you are a shield about me and that you are the glory and the lifter of my head. And I receive a double portion of the mantle and the anointing for spiritual warfare from your servant, Dr. Morris Cirillo. And I will never, 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 never be the same again. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This whole series has just reminded me of the scripture from John 16, 13 that reminds us that when the Holy Spirit comes, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth that when the Holy Spirit comes, he will, he will show us what is to come. And so it gives us uh, a way as we yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit, as we pray in the yes. Holy Spirit, as we're led and filled with the Holy Spirit, we have that advanced knowledge to know Amen. what the enemy is doing. We're not gonna be confused. Amen. We're gonna be bold. We're not gonna shrink back, but we're gonna be empowered to engage the enemy. We're gonna have that divine strategy. Uh, and so I thank you, Lord God, yes, that each and every person, oh God, is yielded in a, in a new and a profound way to the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit, Spirit of truth dwells within each one of us and shows us the things to come. Hallelujah. We have that advanced knowledge. We're not taken off God by the enemy. We have that spirit of discernment in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that we are not confused. We're not shrinking back, but we are spiritually aggressive. We are running to the battle. We are engaging the enemy and we have those divine strategies from the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God, for that power, that experience, that manifestation, that demonstration in each one of our lives in a new and a profound way. Hallelujah. You know, just before Don comes, just before Mark comes, I just feel an anointing upon me to declare to you that God is going to use 
your end of course offering. At the end of every one of our School of Ministry courses, we give you the opportunity. We don't talk to you about it on day one or two or three or four or five, but today in our closing day, what a powerful opportunity. Giving is not an obligation, but giving is an amazing opportunity. You know, honey, today, declaring war on the devil's war, one of the great weapons of our warfare that I never hear many people talk about is our giving. The Bible says in Malachi, listen, if you have a devourer that needs to be rebuked off of your family, that needs to be rebuked off of your ministry, that needs to be rebuked off of your finances, that needs to be rebuked off of your physical body, Malachi says this, God is speaking and he says, prove me and test me. And he said, bring your offering, bring your tithe, bring your offering and see if I will not open the windows of heaven, pour out a blessing. And we love when God blesses us, but I love this because this is where it enters into declaring war on the devil's war. God says, I'm going to stand between you and your devourer, and I am going to rebuke the devourer for your sake. You see, God isn't doing it for his sake because Satan has already been thrown out of heaven. Jesus said, I saw him as lightning thrown from the heavens, but for our sake, God wants to do something so very special. So here's what I want to encourage you to do today. We want to send every single one of our school of ministry students. We want to send you this anointed prayer cloth. Don and Mark and Jerry and I, at the close of this service, we're going to lay hands on every one of these prayer cloths. These are the prayer cloths that will be sent to every person that's watching, that's listening right now. And we want to send you a vial of oil from direct from the Mara Cirillo Legacy International Center theater from this ministry so that you can use these in your ministry. You can use these to receive a greater connection to the impartation. I'm not going to tell you what to give. You use the link, you give whatever it is that represents an offering of honor for you. Or you can use the phone number and call 1-800-514-1864 let the prayer minister know that you'd like to sow your special and of course offering. They're also there to pray with you, to agree with you. I believe so, honey, something powerful. These prayer ministers are anointed in and of themselves because of their connection to Brother Stroll. But the Bible says a threefold cord is not quickly broken. And so here is a prayer minister under the anointing of this ministry. Here are you coming bringing your incredible declaring war on the devil's war gift and then bring your need and let this prayer minister know how they can agree with you for the thing that you are believing God to rebuke the devourer off of your life. And so I just want to encourage you. We're going to continue to pray, but let the spirit of God speak to every one of our hearts, what he would have us to sow so that we can come before him, not empty handed, but we can come before him. Honey, you and I, we, at the end of every one of these courses, we have a very special amount that the Lord has instructed us to release. It's one of my favorite things in the world to do. I was sharing with some folks last year, by the grace of God, we were able to sow our greatest giving to this ministry. And I believe this year it will even be greater the blessing of the Lord maketh rich. He addeth no sorrow with it. So be encouraged. You're sowing, and I know you know this, into good ground. You're helping us now. Over 20,000 students are registered from all over the world on a full scholarship. And so we know that many of them, they're not able to participate the way they would like to financially. But some of us can pull up the slack and some of us can bring something that will strengthen our brother and our sister in all of these other nations and help this school of ministry continue to grow and continue to expand, continue to build 
God, a mighty army. Don, I am excited. There is an anointing. There is a power of God right now. We're going to continue to pray. Hallelujah. Yes, and our, our leader, Boris Rillo, kept saying, faith is a fact, but faith is an act. And so those of you that are sending, just like the woman with the issue of blood, she had to press through the crowd to get to Jesus. We're, we're not, you're not just sitting here and we're passing you a bucket from an usher. You're actually having to take several action steps to do that, and that is your work of faith, labor of love, and patience of hope, and God sees that. And as Jerry was saying, and we release right now, in the name of Jesus, the experience, hallelujah, receive it right now now. Receive it in your body. Receive it in your abundance of your finding. We receive, we release not only the experience, we re release the manifestation. Yes, I believe you can feel it. Yes, I believe you can feel it. It's not just numbing. It's making the problem go away. Hallelujah. It's breaking the blockade in that relationship. It's causing favor. It's causing even the fear of God to come on that person that is trying to abuse you. And finally, the demonstration, which brings forth, that was a demonstration that Jesus said to, to the messengers of John the Baptist. Just tell them what you see in here. Tell them what you see in here. And when this prayer cloth, there's no virtue in this cloth either. There's no virtue in this oil, but because it is the end result of your work of faith, when it comes to you, don't take it lightly. Go to that impossible situation. Anoint that person, anoint that neighbor, anoint that family member, and be sure to send us your testimony. God is stirring the waters. The mantle of Brother Srillo never left this earth. He left this earth uh, it, to be in the presence of God, but the power of God, as you can feel right now, is ever present. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Father in the name that is above every name. We declare war on the devil's war. We declare war on the spirit of poverty. We declare war on the spirit of lack. We declare war in the name of Jesus. Satan, we command you to remove your hand from our finance, from our money, from our wealth in the name that is above every name. And we connect, we connect, we connect with the financial anointing that is over the life of Dr. Serio and this ministry. And as we saw this offering, Father, this offering of faith, yes, we place ourselves and that financial anointing and that anointing is now breaking the yoke breaking the yoke of poverty we declare it we believe it we use the word of God we use the name of Jesus as we have received delegated authority in Jesus mighty name we give you praise and we worship you father we worship you Jesus you are Jehovah Jireh our great provider and we give you the praise and the people of God shout amen amen, amen. amen. well just go ahead and give the Lord a good hand clap of praise Jerry and I and Mark and Don are going to pray over these prayer cloths. We're gonna pray over these vials of anointing oil. This is your time, like Don said, faith is a fact, but faith is also an act. We're going to take you into a powerful, breakthrough, closing prayer that Morris Cirillo prayed during this school of ministry. It was the last prayer he prayed in this school of ministry believe God is going to show himself strong on your behalf. And then we're gonna bring our dear friend, Noel Robinson. He wrote this song in one of Brother Cirillo's meetings, and it's an incredible declaration of what Mark was just praying for you. It's a declaration called rain, open the windows of heaven, open the floodgates, pour out a blessing that there is not room enough to contain. 
And I wanna just thank you for your faithfulness. I wanna thank those of you that God has blessed with a ministry of giving for you to rise up and do something so very special. One of the anointings as we go off today that we have tapped into is this anointing that was upon Morris and Teresa Cirillo's lives. It's still in the earth. It's still upon Teresa Cirillo, who, by the way, laid her hands on every one of these prayer cloths. When you get this prayer cloth, I love it. You have the scripture from Acts. I'll tell you what the anointing is. First of all, you know what it is. It's an anointing to live, to live a debt-free life. It's an anointing for a financial blessing, a financial anointing where the blessing of God literally ran after Morris and Teresa Cirillo. Everything that that man put his hands to were standing in the middle of an incredible demonstration of what I'm trying to tell you. God prospered and God supplied every need. We're standing, Mark and Don and honey, in a debt-free legacy center. And this was not a place that they cut corners. We're standing in one of the most beautiful theaters. And this whole incredible campus is nothing short of a financial miracle. And I love this prayer cloth, Acts 19, and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them. How we would love to be in your home right now. How we would love to be in your city and in your nation. But I promise you as we're going off, we're asking God to take the impartation from this place that we have received from our lives, the healing anointing, the anointing for financial breakthrough, the anointing for peace and favor, for God to open doors that no man can close, for God to restore what the enemy has tried to steal from your life and literally release it, impart it. Somebody that's watching right now that maybe is not a believer or maybe has not read the scripture might think that we're talking about something crazy, but I want you to know something. The God that we serve is a God of the unusual. He is a God of manifestation. And uh, God will use the foolish things, the Bible says, of the world to confound the wise. And it says on this prayer cloth, this prayer cloth has been anointed with oil. We're about to a double anoint it and prayed over by Teresa Sorlo and the World Evangelism team of prayer intercessors. Place it strategically and use it as your point of contact to release your faith for miracles. And everybody said, amen and One thing and you've, done, amen. you've yes. done, Greg, is you've, you've opened it up. In other words, if I'm sitting in Ghana and I just have a desire to give 700 CDs, if I'm sitting in uh, Ibadan, Nigeria, and I just have this burden to give 3,000 Naira, if I'm in Kenya and I want to give uh, 700 shillings, if I'm in uh, Indonesia and I want to give uh, 10,000 rupiah, I can do that. Yeah. Make it our problem. Right now, send it by on your Facebook Messenger or your email to the indicated email but they're starting to come forth. People are starting to realize they're not spectators. All over the world, you can get in on this. Much of this place was paid for by donors who got the revelation and got the financial breakthrough from the countries I just mentioned. And you can also just use the email that you get every day if you have any questions. And then you can email our partner services department directly and they can answer all your questions. Their email address is partnerservices at mcwe.com. Well, on behalf of our team, on behalf of our incredible First Lady, I cannot wait until we get into course number three this year. We're going to use the next few days and we're going to repeat the Declaring War on the Devil's War courses because thousands of new students have registered while we have been in the middle. So we want to give them an opportunity to catch up. And then we are going to begin, and we'll let you know in about a week or so, the incredible Revelation Faith School of Ministry. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible 
to please God. So this is a powerful revelation. This is a revelation that takes all the pressure off of you. And it puts it where faith really comes from. Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. Your faith is gonna be lifted up. I want to encourage you, use these next few days, watch these messages again, and get ready and invite somebody to join you for the Revelation Faith School of Ministry. Honey, our prayer ministers are standing by. They are anointed, yes, they're powerful. Yes, amen. And most of our prayer ministers have taken, have taken these courses. And so they're well prepared and equipped to be able to agree with you in prayer, see the power of God manifested, see that experience, see that manifestation and that demonstration in your life. Amen. And so you just hold on because you're about to receive an incredible prayer from Brother Cirillo. But I have to just say, Mark and Don, the Lord is also taking the French and the Spanish Facebook page. There are hundreds of people who are registering who speak Spanish, who speak French, and even thousands. And so you're going to have an opportunity, many of you who are participating, and Spanish is your first language or French is your first language, we're going to begin to get information to you so that you can be a part of Mark's uh, French, Franco Fini, Facebook, Mara Cirillo School of Ministry, Apostle Oscar Venegas, an incredible son of Brother Cirillo in Mexico who is uh, spearheading the Spanish Facebook page under uh, Don Mandel's uh, leadership. And then our in-home prayer ministry, if you have an hour a week and you want God to use your life in a greater way and you live in the United States, I'm going to give you a link in your email so that you can get more information about being an in-home prayer minister. But Don, Mark, honey, I want us just to gather around here and if we could just lay our hands on these uh, prayer cloths and on this oil, we just want to release the impartation. And we're going to go off today in prayer, take you to Brother Cirillo, take you to Noel Robinson, use your phone, use the link, go ahead and you worship the Lord with your giving, your end of course offering. We love you, we'll see you next time live from Legacy. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord, for your word, Lord, that declares that you are an ever-present help in time of trouble. Lord, let the anointing, God, let the mantle from the life of Morris Cirillo that is here in this theater, that's here in the earth, God, let it permeate every prayer cloth. God brought us here for a life-changing experience a life-changing experience to work in our inner being to prepare us, to equip us, to make us ready to be used, used, used instruments in His hand, vessels me for the master's use.
for five 